A new smart shipyard opens today, replacing SD Engineering's Tuaz Yard as its lease expires at the end of this year. The 14-hectare Gull Yard is twice the size and will be able to handle larger projects. Previously, it could build vessels up to 150 metres, but the new yard can go to as large as 240 metres. Gull Yard also incorporates smart wearables, autonomous vehicles and AI into its operations. Rachel Tang reports. Inspecting these dark crevices deep inside ships in need of repair used to be a risky feat. But workers at SG Engineering's new gull yard now have the help of these drones to be their eyes. This is the shipyard of the future. Its 5G connectivity allows automated guided vehicles like these to help reduce the load on workers and security robots to detect potential hazards. Keeping workers safe are also these internet-linked wearables. Now workers here at the Gull Yard will don these three wearables that you see on me here. The smart helmet has a live streaming camera attached to it to speed up communications with clients. And this smart watch helps to monitor vital signs or these cards help with location and identity tracking. All of this goes to help enhance productivity and safety for workers here. It's located next to ST Engineering's Benoit Yard and this close proximity allows for the company to build more and bigger vessels. We are able to integrate the operation between the two yards seamlessly. That's where we actually bring the synergize between these two yards to enable us to actually to build a larger vessel that we are not able to in the past. Okay? So this actually uh, enables us to crawl, go into another market segment. Galliard uses AI to help predict potential delays and equipment failure, reducing downtime. ST Engineering Group estimates that these capabilities will save the manpower equivalent of four to five hundred workers. Deputy Secretary General of the Workers' Union, NTUC, Desmond Tan, says that the group has been dedicated to leaving no workers behind. It leveraged NTUC's Company Training Committees, or CTCs, to reskill or upskill 82 employees in its marine business this year. The CDC initiative is a perfect example of how win-win solutions can be established between the management and the unions to uplift both the businesses as well as our uplift the skill sets of our workers. Mr Tan also noted that the new smart yard comes at the right moment. In line with the nation's green goals, it aims to significantly reduce its carbon footprint by adopting renewable energy sources by 2034.